Not all stars have names, but two-thirds of those that do have names have Arabic names. There we go. Okay? There they go. And you might say, well, how did this come to pass? What, where did that come from? What was going on? Because if you think of the Middle East now, and it's not where, you're not saying, hey, these are folks naming stars. You go back 1,000 years, Islam, 800 to 1,100. In that period, which is generally called the golden age of Islam, of Islamic science, golden age, true, go there was no greater golden age in the history of the world before or after. When you look at the sum of advances that came out of that period in Baghdad, algebra was invented in that period. Algebra is itself an Arabic word. Algorithm is an Arabic word. Our numerals are Arabic numerals. You ever wonder why? You ever stop and think why they're called Arabic numerals? In that period, mathematics took great leaps and bounds. Agriculture, engineering, medicine, navigation. 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 Star maps were made to assist navigation. Astrolabes were, create, were crafted. I lose sleep at night with the question, how many secrets of the universe lay undiscovered? Because 1.3 billion people who in an ancestral time would have participated in this enterprise and are now not. That's what I think of as a scientist. Whole populations. By the way, there are other populations that never contributed. I'm not going to them and blaming them. I'm talking about a population that already did contribute. It's in, it's in the cultural heritage already. All we're asking is to resurrect it. It, is, it has not happened.